Hi everyone, this is Mandy Krebs, one of the student success coaches at SRC. In light of all of the recent changes you are facing as students, I wanted to take a couple of minutes and go over five keys to success that can help you along the way. Today I'd like to talk to you about college from home. We're going to look at some potential problems as well as solutions. Some of you may be used to taking face-to-face -face classes. You may be thinking about how you're going to function in this online environment. Others may be stressed due to all the scheduling changes that are occurring in your life. Some of them are very disruptive. Things like having children at home, not working anymore, less social engagement, technology issues, or just trouble studying. I hope these five keys to success offer you some help with the problems that you're facing day to day. The first thing we need to do is just keep an open mind and adapt a growth mindset. You have the power to complete these courses successfully. Oftentimes, our brains want to instantly reject things that may seem challenging or different to us. There may be some of you who are very concerned about moving to the online formats. In the book titled Teach Yourself How to Learn by Dr. Sandra McGuire, she challenges us to have a growth mindset. Having a growth mindset allows you to realize that outcomes are a result of how much effort that you put into something. So even though things may challenge us at times, we have to work hard to problem solve those solutions while also believing in ourselves. The second thing we need to do is just create a workspace. What does your workspace look like? Do you have a desk at home? If so, that's great. If not, think outside the box. Can you set up at your kitchen table? Or do you have another table in the house that's available? The main thing we want to focus on here is not working in bed or on the couch. We naturally feel less motivated when sitting in these types of spaces. Once you've chosen the space that you want to work from, make sure that you have everything you need. Do you have all of your books, paper, pens, etc.? The next key to being successful in an online environment is having an effective time management strategy. If you are used to attending face-to-face -face classes, we recommend that you stick to your normal schedule as much as possible. Oftentimes, we need to hold ourselves accountable, and sticking to our general routine can help us accomplish this. With due dates potentially changing, you may also want to update your planner, or if you haven't been using a planner, you might consider starting. Next, we suggest writing yourself a daily to-do list. This is helpful to make sure that you're staying on task. If you're having trouble focusing or you need help making sure that you're dedicating time to each class, set yourself timers and try to limit all other distractions. Last but not least, follow the study cycle on the next slide. Earlier, we referenced the book Teach Yourself How to Learn. In this book, Dr. McGuire lays the foundation to the study cycle. The five steps in the cycle are preview, attend, review, study, and assess. While taking courses online, we recommend that you log into Canvas at the beginning of each week and preview the material that you're going to be required to do throughout the week. Next, you need to quote unquote attend class or be present in your online learning environment. Make sure that you click all links and that you're actively participating. Next, review the material. If you've had a reading assignment throughout the week, make sure that you're taking notes while you're reading and then review those notes. This helps move the information that you've just read from your short-term to your long-term memory. Then study. This slide provides information on intense study sessions. Try it. See how it works for you. If you need help, the student success coaches are here to assist you in learning this technique. Last but not least, you have to assess your strategy. At the end of the week, evaluate yourself. How did you do? Do you need to spend more time online? Do you need more time devoted to reading? A good student is always evolving and changing strategies to fit the needs of their courses. The fourth key is to stay on track. You will need to use your resources more now than ever. We still have all of the same great resources available. Peer tutoring and success coaching are both available via phone or Google Hangout. You also have access to 24-7 tutoring through tutor.com. This is available by clicking online tutoring in the left menu of any of your courses. Next, our librarian Jeanette is available via phone or email to assist you with any research needs. And last but not least, if you are struggling with your course content, please don't be afraid to reach out to your instructor. I bet they miss you. Last, find an accountability partner. Use the Canvas Inbox tool to message someone in your course and ask them to partner up with you. You can hold each other accountable with due dates as well as send words of encouragement. Also, don't forget that technology is your friend. Use video tools like FaceTime or Google Hangouts to interact. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch our presentation today. Please don't hesitate to contact us for help. Together we will overcome these obstacles and take you where you want to go.